Alrighty, boys, we're back on the phaser again. Um, the main focus is actually going to be removing the air box, but I want to just follow up with our carburetors. If you guys watch part one, we basically had the carbs disassembled. I actually had Sully, uh, he, he finally, or he finalized the carburetors, I should say. He put all the new jets in, put the new bowl gaskets on, put boiled new main jets. In the um, he boiled it in the ultrasonic a few times. You can see there's a little bit of residue yet, a little bit. I mean, they came out very clean. He sprayed brake clean through all the air bleeds, choke port, um, just everything was kind of flushed and everything like that. Uh, if you're wondering how tight to tighten these, it's kind of got an aluminum crush ring, so you can take a 17 and give it a little bit of a grunt. Remember, that's aluminum and brass, so that stuff, you know, when you break that off, it's not always a fun time, so just be careful, use your judgment on that. Other than that, I mean, we put new air screws in, we set them at one and a half turns. If you have a manual, they'll probably give you a correct spec. But I would say one and a half is a great starting point. You can always tune them in from there. Uh, these carburetors are very untunable. You have a low speed and a high speed. I mean, the mid range is pretty much unjettable, especially with the stock setup. So that is what we did on those carbs. They came out really good. I mean, compared to what they were when we took them off, these are night and day different. Like, it should be good, it should run good. What we're going to do guys is actually remove the air box today. So I was looking, we were actually thinking we had to remove like the whole dash console. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to tell you guys we had to remove the clutch, secondary clutch. And there's a little tab that you can see right here guys. I'll get you in here a little closer. We'll turn the handlebars too. Now you guys can see. So right underneath here you had to pry that tab. There's a bolt in there I guess. Is there one on the other side too? Uh, I don't think so. I think no, there's just one. one. Taking that out, and then we gotta take the clutch off, and I think you can finagle, I guess you can finagle the uh, air box out. Mm -hmm. So, that is what we're gonna try to do today. Hopefully, it is successful, and then we learned a little bit, and hopefully you guys will learn something too, because there's not much information about these air boxes. Exciters, very similar. I'm not sure if there's other models, but I know the exciters and phasers, at least the phaser two strokes, uh, are gonna be <coughs> pretty much the same as this, so. Are right, SRV air boxes there? SRV air box is a little different. You gotta pull the gas tank out to pull them off. They're a little bit different. Um, but this is, we're gonna try to attempt to pull it out the side by the clutch here. If it doesn't work, obviously we'll have to pull the whole dash console and stuff like that. We wanna just put some new fuel lines on and flush the tank out. And it's so much easier if you can just get the air box out of the way. And see if there's any mice nest in the air box. But uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, if you haven't already moved, removed the carburetors, if you're watching this strictly for the airbox, you're going to want to take the carbs out. Uh, you can do the carburetors, take them out without removing the airbox. Just got to pull the back boots off, disconnect your throttle cables, choke cables. I actually took the choke plungers off and the springs so I didn't have to worry about them falling in the bottom of the chassis. And they're definitely going to be lost if that happens. So well, we'll pick you guys up once we uh, get this tab off. Yeah. You guys. So, we got the air box out. I think Scully's going to show us the light here real quick. So, this is what it looks like First with the air box. What we're going to do is remove this here plug. Looks like this. There's two 10 millimeter head screws in there. That's going to basically hold the whole air box in. Then, you got to take the snorkel. Want to grab the snorkel right here? This piece right here. This is the so snorkel off the air box, guys. Down there, around the steering sh uh, stem shaft. Want to pick that up for him? Huh? Pick the whole air box up or something. Basically, so basically, it, there, this like, here kind of corrals the steering it's shaft. In there like this, and then you can't pull it out unless you take this off. There's, so you pop the snorkel gotta, like, off. Got to pull the secondary clutch off. You want to get your light over here, quick. Yep. Basically, you got to pull the secondary. You can do it without an impact. Yep, we got it off without an impact. Um, we're probably going to replace the fuel pump and the lines, mm -hmm. just for good time's sake. Um, or at least the lines at the minimum. I gotta get the lines on, on the way here. And then the oil lines are like plastic, so. Yeah, we might just delete oil injection though. Oh. I mean, the oil that's in there is just an absolute dog. But yeah, remove that plug, guys. Take the two 10 mils, remove the snorkel, pull the clutch, and then you can pull the air box out the left side of the machine. Yeah, it comes out fairly easy once Fairly you get easy once off. you get that stuff off. It's just, it you was really intimidating. Pull, uh, I didn't know about that. You just gotta pull the speedo cable. I think it's speedo. Yeah, cable. it's a speedo cable. Pull that up, and then you, the air box just slides out. And, be very careful guys, throttle cable routing on these phasers is very critical. These are the ones that if you don't route them, route them correctly, you turn the right or, hand, hand, right or left and, and it could peg wide hand. open, yeah. So be very careful if you guys are going to mess with the throttle cables. So you can see how oily this pump is down here. Just nasty oil. I think we're going to delete oil injection on her. Delete her, eh? Pre-mix. 
brother. Premix for the win? Yes, sir. I mean, you could. Less, less work. What do you guys think? Should we premix this damn thing? Yeah. It's not the end of the world. 10 to 1. 10 to 1. Oh. Wide open. But yeah. That's a quick way of getting your airbox out of the uh, phasers. This is an 84. Should work up all the way up to like the early 90s. Phaser 1, Phaser 2. But uh, pretty simple, guys. Just be patient. Don't start prying on crap. Just you get the snorkel off because it, it kind of, the steering shaft sits in between the airbox. So you just yeah. got to pop the tab out. And then you got to flag a little bit. And like I said, remove those two 10 mils to take the clutch off as well. Um, holding the brake to spread the sheave to get the belt off is also a very helpful tip. I'd recommend doing that. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully we'll have more videos on the phaser soon when we get new fuel lines. Probably delete the oil injection and then put the uh, carbs and air box back in. And hopefully she runs. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Uh, comment down below what you guys think about the project so far. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'd love to see more people subscribe. See all of the uploads. Sully, any last words? Not anything, huh? You ready to rip this thing? Sure. We get snow. We got snow. I mean, the dusting is good enough to ride, boys. Mm -hmm.